Morning team, got back from Nice late last night, um, had a bit of a lazy morning this morning. Today is all about my club's hill climb, the Tavistock Wheelers Hill Climb 2017. <laughs> to the hill climb now come back from France yesterday and today it's overcast the sun's gone so I heard reports from home while I was away that it's 30 degree heat and we had the same in France it was absolutely lovely and I was like yes the weather's gonna continue for the rest of my week off but no it has to go overcast and I even spent all afternoon looking for these wee these lenses and I don't really need them now so there we go First hill, my legs are shot <laughs> on the way, not even on the way back. Seriously lacking power at the moment. Not been training hardly at all. So this is a very much support the uh, fast boys one.
um, race organiser. Would it be right in that? <coughs> <coughs> I think it's well done. I think he might be a first promoting secretary, unless yep. Martin knows different. Martin? No. Right, so. And secondly, to all the various officials <coughs> and helpers today who helped in a one way or another. So, Lindsay being a shy retiring type has asked me to um, read the results out, which I shall do in a sort of reverse order. Um, In second place, with 6.43, was Ben Kerwin. And then the winner, he's an outsider but we'll let him off, um, with 6.29 was John Coyne. How did the event go, Martin? It went very well. We saw some very fast times. Unfortunately, we didn't see Dan post the time, but never mind. <laughs> this is this is Dan here, and he was told that he wasn't allowed to ride because he didn't bring a helmet. I did not start. Yeah, he did not start. Whilst the cycling, what is it, cycling time trials, or is it? It was cycling time trials, yeah. Their policy is helmets are advisory. Advisory only. Um, we right. understand Access why. Yeah. yeah. But we do understand that wearing a helmet is in the interests, or the best interests of the rider. Yeah. But it is the rider's choice. Yeah. yeah. A very so. good event. It was a lovely event. It was a good event. I enjoyed spectating. <laughs> Almost perfect conditions. Almost oh, perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. for a fast I, time. I, I would well, I, I completely see so your bonkers riding without a helmet. Yeah. Well, I, well, it was a good event. I'm not too disappointed with my time. Pretty, pretty pleased actually, given the lack of training. I think I beat my time from last year. But I'm more pleased that one of the fast boys started two minutes behind me and he didn't catch me. So it's good. I fully expected him to catch me. <coughs> and a nice, uh, unhealthy grub afterwards but thank you to the landlord for putting that on and so cheap charged three pound a head which was good and then we just sat around talking cycling a bit of controversy with the helmet issue um, let me know down below what you think about the helmet issue uh, it's not actually enforced but is advisory I think there was some court case back along with uh, a Sikh wearing his uh, turban and not wearing a helmet. So he, he won the court case, which is why it's now advisory. Something to do with that anyway. <coughs> it's a good climb, the, the hill climb. It's, um, I'll link it down below in, in the description. I'll link a Strava link to it. It's um, one of the 100 Britain's 100 greatest climbs or something. It's in that book. Uh, Maryvale to Rundlestone. 2.7 kilometers, I think. So, just on my way home now. Uh, only about 20 kilometers tonight. But <coughs> 2.7 of them were flat out, so. Still a little bit of training, I suppose.